Hello fellow engineers and welcome to a brand new portal game. Unfortunately, it's not portal three, but it is a mod called portal revolution, which takes place between the first portal and the second portal. And from what I've seen, this is like so much more than a mod. It's basically, well, it basically is portal three. Let's not kill ourselves. Anyway, let's start a new game. Chapter one, the human resource. Oh, we're, we're in bed. We're, oh my goodness. Is the ceiling moving or is my room moving? I think my room's moving. Question, why am I not getting up and freaking the hell out because <laughs> this is kind of worrying good morning test subject you have been in suspension for 72 days i mean that's why i'm not moving the aperture science computer aided enrichment center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary i've been asleep for my entire life you have been selected as a potential candidate for our human emergency response team please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor Right, okay, got to review the agreement on the nearby monitor. Emergency oh, response. there it is. You will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem-solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please press the button to accept the terms. Nah, mate, I ain't pressing that. Hey, oh look, it's a mirror. It's me. Oh look, my oh my head actually moves like smoothly. Have I got an AirPod in my ear? No, it's just the light. It's just the light. All right. Well, looks like I'm accepting the terms. Oh, contract signed. The door will open in three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. So what the hell is this place? I assume this has happened like before Portal 2. So like the place hasn't completely been run down yet. It is looking pretty worse for wear though. I'm not gonna lie. What are they on the wall? From this angle, is anyone seeing strongest shapes? <laughs> like they're all just on there like pointing off. It's like watching one of Alan's solutions. Alan! Anyway, we'll head along here. This door's just opened. Then looks like we got a lift to go in. So, oh, yep, yeah, we're going up. We are going up. Oh, and is all that glass broken above me? I think it is. Oh, oh, we're in a portal room. We're in a testing chamber. Okay, so zero out of nine. I think I passed this room. Decent. So then, oh man, it is just, it's literally just like Portal 2. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. All right, so my hibernation turned me into an architect, apparently. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. Oh, great. That's good. <laughs> if you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Yes, I can do that. Boosh. Oh, look, it's a portal. Oh, so I'm over there. Now I'm over here. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. I, I have missed portal. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. Oh, look, do I drop down? I guess I do. So we've got a button on the floor. we got a thing there. Yep, companion cube. Boosh. Catch that. Thank you very much. Plop it on there. Boosh. Oh, I don't know my own strength. I've got like three physics. Anyway, that's on there. So it's open the door. So we're through here. Classic portal gameplay. All right, so out here, cube drops down, lands on there. Stairs are open, but we've got to get through that door, have we? So if we move this from here, yeah, we lose the stairs. But if we plop that on there, we can go through here ourselves. And there's there's a button, which presumably gives us another cube. So you fall down, boosh, then the stairs are open. Lovely jubbly. Although we are we are definitely being watched. All right, anyway, we're through to the next area. So, oh, look. Oh, the portal gun. There's the portal gun. I want it. Oh, it's shooting. Oh, it shot through the hole to put a portal there. I, I should have gone. I should have gone through it. I think I've got to wait for it now. It's spinning around shooting constantly. Uh, but when it does shoot through there, I can go through that portal. I'll end up up there, I guess. So here we go. It's pointing this way. Boosh. So now I'm up where I said I would be. And then I just got to wait for it. Yeah, if it shoots against that wall like that, then I can come back through. And then presumably I can just grab the portal gun. Yes. As a candidate for the human emergency response team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations. And as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Yeah, right. So presumably I'm trying to get like up there. So if I just do a portal there. Oh, I can't. I can't do the orange portal yet. Okay, blue portals only. Got it. So if I come out here, I can then shoot over that way. And then I can just come back through here. And then I'm over there. Sweet. Okay, through the door. Uh, ooh, big shining light. Don't know what that was all about, but we're going to the next level. Okay, here we are. Performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. Right, we've just been told by a voice that isn't as good as Stephen Merchant's. I will say that. Um, hang on, can I... Oh, I can only... I still can't... I still can't orange portal. I wanted to shoot you off the wall. So yeah, oh, look. Okay, so there's the portal. Oh, I have got rid of the camera now. 
<laughs> Where did the camera go? Anyway, if I do a portal there, I can then get up here so do i want to take the cube up i imagine so what does that say that's where they drop out okay got it so we've got to end up in there and i assume that we can't yeah we can't bring them through through that wall so can i go through the wall i can so what i want to do over here is shove a portal like that or even better straight straight above the hole although if I walk through, it disappears. Okay, got it. So if I just do that then and walk through here, then if I shove a portal underneath that, that should pop out here, right? Oh, but then I won't be able to shoot one back through there. Ooh. Okay, I've got to do this bit first then. So if I blue portal there, we get that up there. Decent. Now I can run through. Now I can shove blue portal there, go through that, grab this, and then just plonk that on the button and we've completed it. I can get rid of that camera. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you what, can I, can I like destroy oh, i did i just destroyed the camera <laughs> oh nice i hope there's no repercussions for that all right what do we have up here i can see into like someone's office actually oh look there's something on their computer screen oh what's going on here i just got raised up i wonder what that is i'll tell you what that probably is what they're looking at on their computer screen they're on realcivilengineer.com looking at my brand new merch designs the certified engineer get yours now that was quite cringy wasn't it oh look at the floor look at the floor the question is where is the cube i think it's going to drop down there when i press the button so boosh there's there's the thing so grab the cube go through this portal we're now down here we can shove that on there and then if i just head up here i can shove a portal up that way so nice oh all i gotta do now there's a button here that opens the door presumably if i get off yeah door shuts so i'll come over grab this and then if i head through this portal i'm literally opposite the button so boosh we're through oh man i think my brain is absolutely fine congratulations test subject number one you have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard oh we set the world record oh i'm the only person that did it aren't i the next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes. Closed eyes. <laughs> insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. Right, so basically, don't stare at the laser. Oh, I'm already looking at the laser. Don't look at the laser. Don't look at the laser. Right, so what we got to do, we got to get that laser using one of those cube things into... Well, we've got to make it shoot at that, right? So the question is where... Ah, oh, there it is. So if I shove a portal there, I can jump down, grab that, go through this portal, and then... Oh, yeah, we're back up the top. Okay, so now I can point that down that way. And then, oh, that looks a bit dangerous now. Can I walk through the... Ow! No, I can't. <laughs> oh, should have read the sign. Always read the sign. <laughs> yeah, the stick man tried to tell me... Wall of laser, death. Have you not watched Resident Evil map? Okay, so then I've just got to get the laser to point at that. There's already a portal on that wall. So I should just be able to go boosh. But no, I can't because I can't shoot through that. But if I take that off and then come through, shoot the laser first. Obviously, I can't go back through here because if I do, look, the portal disappears. But I can shoot the portal and then come through the portal. And then if I pick this up and shove it through, it will go not only through that thing, but also into there. Which means down here, the gate is open. I've just got to work out how to get out without getting shot by a laser. I could try and like jump. I, oh dear, right. Shall I try jumping? Yeah, sod it. Huh. Oh, I did it. I did it. I dropped the laser. Right, we're down. We're out. We are free. You have completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can open my eyes now. I did that completely without looking at any lasers. 100%. All right, so here we are in the next test chamber. What have we got? We got someone looking at me. Nosy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got, okay, button over there. I think I've got to get up first in order to press the button to get a cube. So let's just lay that there. We'll come through. We'll press this button. So then the cube, ah, cube drops here. Nice. So if I then shove port over there, I can bring this through, shove it on there. So then that has opened, which means from back over here, I can just look through and go boosh. Then as I walk through here, oh, there's another button which needs another cube. Okay, so I think now that the portal's in here, it doesn't matter if that gate shuts. So if I get a new cube, yes, that shuts. 
because that cube got disintegrated. But I can still go through here and do that. Okay, nice. We are actually flying through these. I was actually a little concerned that I might not be able to do this because it says it carries on from the end of Portal 2 in terms of like difficulty. And uh, by the end of Portal, like you need to have played it for quite a while to understand like what the hell is going on. But I'm doing all right. Anyway, button there. So I reckon let's plop do that. Oh, there's no... I keep forgetting there's no orange portal yet. Okay, so I guess then let's just drop down, grab this, shove it on there. That should open this gate so I can come through here. Then, oh, look, there's another cube here. So jump over the laser, jump over the laser, and then we just swap the cubes, I think. So if we get rid of that, the wall comes back. I can shove that on there and then use this cube, which is a glass one, to do the old laser rooney thing decent on to the next challenge which is a very very dark room okay what have we oh thank you you turn the lights on well done candidate you have successfully solved five test chambers to ensure a high quality of human resources the following test chambers may include elements of danger extra caution is advised good luck all right, so this level has danger in it, apparently. I can see 45 degree portal, which means I need to drop into a blue one to get the momentum to fly. Uh, oh, and down there, there is like poo water. Looking a bit like one of my city skylines things, but thankfully that's also down there. So if I do this, I fly out of the other portal. Nice, land up here. Then got you, which drops onto there, then into the sploosh. Oh, so it just keeps dropping because it keeps getting destroyed. So if I portal there, that should fall into it. And then I can just huh, catch it like that. Shove it on the button. That was MLG. Not gonna lie. Right. Okay. What have we got here? We got button there with a with a cube dropper. So that's gonna land on the purple one. So question is, where do I shoot this one? Or oh, do I press this button? Is that gonna... Oh, the button is the laser up there. I definitely... No, I can't shoot through the glass. I can walk through here, though. So if we walk through and then press this, that opens that up. Okay. Oh, worth noticing, when I when I press this button, my portal does disappear there. Hang on. So what if I come over and press this button first? Does that drop the cube? Yes, it does. Um, I can head through this way, though. Oh, look, another button. So that drops that one. Oh, and is on a timer. Okay, so if I shove a portal there, that should fall through that one. So as we drop it, it goes bloosh, blooshes up on that one and then comes back up through this one. Then I think it's just falling forever. All right, so I guess I want the cube. So if it goes to there, I can then do that and then oh, catch it again. <laughs> okay, nice. Then with this cube, I can place that on there, which means I can walk through here, no issues. Then can I drop another one and shoot that on there? Okay, so now the glass one's going up and down constantly. Cool. Yeah, when it's in the air on this side, I can shoot this. Boosh. And then it should fly through there. It can be caught. And then if I plunk this in the right place... So it wants to shoot straight ahead. So ready? Jump on. Laser. Oh, I think I'm slightly pointing in the wrong place. So slightly point left a bit. There you go. So now, yes, there we go. So that's open. Oh, it doesn't stay open though. Oh, so I've got to get this cube onto here. Can I stand on here and like try and chuck it through? Oh no, it's going to get destroyed. Oh, balls. Oh no, I am an idiot. I should have just used this cube, shouldn't I? Well, I should have done. Rather than standing on the button and trying to lob it, I should have just brought this round, shove it on that button so that the laser's firing. And then when I'm over this side, it doesn't matter that that like the gate shut. Oh, what a knob you are sometimes, Matt. Right, anyway, that's sorted. The door's open. So yeah, just come through here and then we're through. Yay. Oh, I've just found like a cheeky little emergency exit. Oh, is that the... That's the computer screen. Were they looking at my merch earlier? Yeah, so look, they were spying on me. I knew it. Oh, I picked up a chair. What am I doing with the chair? I've got a chair. Oh, look, there's another, there's another door. Is this going to be like another one where they're spying on me? Yeah, it is. I was down there a second ago. Hey, look, I've got another chair though. I've got another chair. So presumably through here. There's going to be another chair I can nick. Thank you. Oh, the chairs get destroyed. All right, anyway, another lift to go to the next level. All right, so we've got the classic fall through a portal, go flying thing. Yeah, I got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow, I haven't got it. Ow. That's definitely wrong. Yeah, that is wrong. I think he, point, he made it point the wrong direction. <laughs> I just smashed the window. So, yeah, it should have flung me this way. <laughs> All right, I got to test this. Is this going to send me back or is it going to send me the wrong way? Oh, send me really high. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. That is why there's holes in the ceiling. Okay, so first off, what are we actually, what are we trying to achieve here? So if I do that, we drop a cube over that way. So if I shoot that there, then when I drop it, it will just be like floating up and down constantly. Okay, uh, what does this 
button D, by the way. Oh, it opens that. Okay, so I reckon shove the cube here, and then I can shove a portal up there, and that's what I'm going to need to, like, fly through the air with. Okay, I think I got it. But yeah, so my thoughts are, as I press this button, that cube will fall down, and then it should just bounce, like, up there. It will fall back through come back over there so it's just doing that constantly meaning if i time this right and i go now huh, i can grab the cube and then i can come shove it on this button boosh so then these are all on the on the wonk now which means if i shove a portal probably on that side i should be able to fly up there um, oh no i can't though because i can't actually move i can't move the yellow portal so i think as i fly up this way i'm gonna have to shoot beneath me like down there because then i'm flying up this one so i'm doing what the cube was doing as we fly up this portal if i shoot that one over there then i should fly out of it into this area so <laughs> <laughs> so if you weren't following, I ended up where I want to be. Nice. What does this do? Do I need to get... Oh, don't say I need to get a cube up here, do I? Oh, wait, look. There's a button over here. There's a button over here. Oh, so cube. Oh, okay. I can shoot that down there. And then as I as I drop the cube... Oh, it's not a cube. It's a ball. But the ball goes up there. I can then huh, do that so it flies up here. So yeah, now shove that on there. And that opens the door. You. Your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science hard light bridge. Ooh, bridge. Right, okay. We got laser coming through there. We got button down there. Oh, and up here. Okay, so we can get down there easy enough. We can grab a cube, presumably from above, yeah. So then, ooh, if I block... Oh, if I block that, that opens this side gate. Ooh, interesting. So then this one opens that gate. Okay, got it. All right, so if I shove a cube on that button using this portal, then this side is always open. So now I can shove portal up there to go get back up. So that button and that cube, they're linked. So I don't want to touch them. Oh, look, the light bridge. So if I do that, there's now a light bridge across there. Oh, man, it's really light and glowy. So I think I can stand on these, right? Yeah, the trouble is, as soon as I go through there, the bridge will disappear. So I guess go on this side, press this button. So light bridge is still there, but I can't go through that anymore. I can come through here, though. Then I think I just need to block the laser. I'm honestly, I just want to lob it. <laughs> oh, that did not go very far. <laughs> I guess then we do portal up there, which puts light bridge across. I can then get across there. But I got to press this button to open the door. Oh, look, down here, we've got this pad. So we can whee, fly ooh, all the way back up to the top. Oh, so can I get that cube over this side? If I do that there, I can grab another cube. Okay, I think that's how we do this. So grab another cube, come through here, block the laser off at source. Then I've just got to get the bridge firing again. So I guess drop down here, laser up there. That puts the bridge in, which means we can go across so the bridge is finally has a purpose because I actually have a reason to get over here. So that means we need a bridge review. It's a hard light bridge allowing me to solve this puzzle by going across here, heading around this corner. And when we head down onto this, we can we boing up to this place where if we take this cube and drop it on the button, the door is now open, meaning I can use the bridge once again to walk over the horrible sewage and complete the level. Therefore, I give this bridge an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Bridge review. Right, anyway, final part of this level now. So I can see there's, there's a orange portal there. So if I fire myself up, probably against that wall, I'm going to... Ah, Oh, it moved. Ah, it all moved. Oh, oh, I did it. I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. Baked? I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Okay, so now this has turned into an actual portal game. Yes. So I guess we should follow the American Stephen Merchant. We'll press that button to open that. Uh, okay, what does this red button do? That says no. Oh, there you go. We've got a portal. Then if we walk through, we're now we're now over this side. Decent. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Okay, so press that button. Does that? Oh, it's a loading signal. What's it doing? Do you know what it's doing? 
Ooh, what did that do? It just did a thing. Oh, have I got to get into it? So you have to stand in the scanner to get registered. Yeah, I, I got that, mate. I'm just I'm just trying to figure it out. Give me a second. So right, we press that and then we leg we leg it through here. We try and get through this portal and then we just got to stand in this thing and hope that it doesn't absolutely destroy us. I did it. I can now register you as our new janitor. I'm a janitor. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Okay, let's go this way. All right, anyway, we're back where we started at the congratulations thing. But remember, I'm an employee now. Out, so I should be able to get around. Yes, I tried to press this earlier and computer said no, but now it's fine. Okay, we're on chapter two, the default route or route, if you're weird and American. To be fair, like out, snout, pout. Why do we say root? Maybe it's like the E on the end does something. Don't know. Anyway, I zoned out while he was saying some stuff. I think we're like trying to, we're trying to stop this place from blowing up or something. Yeah, we got to do some manual stuff that like he can't do. He doesn't have hands, remember? So what we got here? We've got override. Yeah, go on then. So open this door. Crou oh, we got crouch. We have crouch. Oh no, so we're in like the turret shredder. Can you... <laughs> Can you hear them like being shredded? All right, live turrets. Great. Oh goodness. Uh, oh, blooming out. Wind. Cheers to the wind. Okay, so probably don't want to walk across that bridge. Seems a little bit dangerous. If we head to the control room shutdown though... Aha, we have a shutdown override. Okay, so I've got to shove something in there to try and block it. So, oh, look, companion cubes and this conveyor belt underneath. That's handy. So we'll head down here. I'm going to grab this one that's sort of like on its own. I feel a bit bad for it. Then in the control room, we can shove that in there. And then that should turn off the fans. Yeah, so I think I'm safe to walk across now. Nice. So yeah, look, they are. They come across the conveyor belts and then fall to their doom. Okay, so I guess I need to not fall to my doom at some point. Hey, look, here's a turret. Sorry, mate. See you later. <laughs> right. Oh, I've just found an orange portal. Okay, that could be useful. Um, and I, presumably, I don't want to walk out there because those two look pretty angry. I can see them from here, though. I just wonder what can I... Oh, I can walk around. Am I meant to walk around here? I don't know if I'm meant to. I'm trying to find a surface to shoot on. I can shoot up there, which means... Oh, yeah, that allows me to bypass the bridge. Okay, sweet. So now I don't have to go that way. I can literally just come around here, go through this portal, and then I'm up here. Look, there's the turret. So as I come down this way, they can't see me, stupid architect portals. All right, then we got fan control, so I can turn the big fan on. Oh, boy. <laughs> See you later. Ah, ah, that's windy. <laughs> okay, that was quite terrifying. Um, anyway, fan has turned off now. The turrets have gone, which means it's now safe to come back and walk up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to portal my way up because, like, that all collapsed. So back through this orange portal, which means I'm up here. I could maybe jump into the fan. Do I want to go that way? I guess so. Huh. Oh, no. I don't think I was meant to go this way. <laughs> All right, actually, if I go up here... Oh, no. Right, so if I'm not meant to go over that way, what way was I meant to go? Oh, probably just down down behind this, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Makes way more sense. All right, got yellow arrow there pointing down. That looks like quite a drop. I guess who needs kneecaps anyway? Okay, we survived. Sweet. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility and... I'll let you leave. Okay, we've been given an ultimatum. If we help him repair the facility, we're allowed to leave. So that's good. Right, let's grab a cube then. So cube drops down there. We got, oh, really fast conveyor. And then it just goes. How do the fans work? So that's just blowing that way. So if I do this now, as that drops down, the fan should blow that down here. Okay, I, I've got access to that. Oh yeah, and it looks like I'm trying to get the cube up here, by the way. Also, what is up with that guy's face? That's terrifying. Anyway, down here, this is where we, we have the cube. So I reckon I can just take that. And then if I go back up, so I'm up here, I can shove it in there. Then, oh, that's done some short circuiting. Oh, it's opened this door. Decent. So now I can probably go on this conveyor. And I travel way slower than the cube did. Interesting. Nicely done. But yeah, thanks. Cheers, mate. All right, so worth no so I can shoot portals on all of these walls, which could come in handy. Okay, so I've got to get over there, apparently. So if I do the override... Okay, that, like, completes the test chamber. So I think I've just got to get down there, right? So what if I hit that switch? There's a portal there. Oh, it's done a timey thing. Wait, what did that do? Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, we've got bombs. Okay, I want to I wanna break the glass. So if that falls down there, it goes over there. 
boost. Glass is broken. Um, oh, something I can do. I can shoot it up there, though. Then it will fly out of there. Boosh. That's that smashed. Okay, so now can I come back up that door? No, I can't. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's keep the bombs going. I've just realized I can literally just, like, fall through here myself, can't I? So, yeah. Now we are we're heading back. So from here, I want to smash that glass. So if I do that, that should fly out and break that like shattered glass boosh all right so now up here we've got loads of like shattered glass so what if i put a bomb up there oh that did that bit um <laughs> oh i mean what i can do because i can't jump up there i can put my portal in and then if i head back so we drop down through this portal then we're at at the place that we couldn't go to before um oh look and there's cubes floating above there and beneath there happens to be a place to put a portal so that should make a bomb come flying up yes and smash that so i can grab this Shove it on there, which means I can go through the door if I can work out how to get upstairs. So we can now escape through this way and nice. So, oh, we've got a big red button. Do I? Of course I do. Okay, so he said he's got a surprise for us waiting up ahead. Um, We've just got to make it through this maze, which looks pretty, pretty large. So portal over that way. So I can only shoot blue portal still. So I can end up over here. There is a button for a cube. So that drops down there. Right, let's just go back to the orange portal. Where do we actually want to end up? Oh, probably over there, right? Come over here. Jump over the laser. Shove that on the button. So what did that do? That goes all over this way. Oh, it's put a little hole in. You know, it looks like I got to shoot a laser up to there to actually exit the level. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if I shoot up there, that does that. Oh, that's putting a new bridge above my head. Oh, this is where I started, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So while I'm up here, I can then do the laser and then the bridge comes to my feet. Nice. I can walk along it, which is exactly what I want to do, I think. Oh, why did they flop up? Anyway, over here, this gets me a cube. So, oh, it's, what, it's, a, it's a laser pointery one. Because I was thinking, surely I can just shove that on there. Oh, then we have one of those things. I forgot about those. So that will send me through the wall to the exit. But I've got to get rid of that somehow. So the question is, what do I use this laser for? All right, okay, I think I got it. So from this point with the glass thing on that side, the normal one on that side, if I shoot that through there, grab the glass box, I can then take this cube so it's pointing at the, the yellow one on this side can then take this cube up to there. I can then go over that way as we go through here. Then I can shoot this blue one down there so that it's, it makes the light bridge again. So I can take this cube along the light bridge, shove it on the button, and then it doesn't matter if my blue portal disappears because that will just get rid of this bridge underneath. I'll be floating above. You can see the laser pointing through the yellow portal there, which means we can plonk it on the floor down there so it gets that switch, and then we're through. So our surprise was an elevator to the sky guy do you actually trust this guy i guess so oh we are actually going up all right so we're literally at the surface are we i feel like i'm still very much underground all right ready ready <gasps> the sky oh sunflowers anyway we've been told the obviously like these parts of the world they've been like well they've they're not very strong so they've been decayed by like well, weather and plants and sunflowers. Uh, so we've got to head between testing chambers because they are the most durable area of the of the place. Uh, bear in mind, while you're watching this, this is completely free mod. Right, anyway, what we got here? Button. Oh, not very good button. Is that going to give us a cube? Yes. Can I shoot portals anywhere in there on the floor? Okay, so I've shot a portal on the floor. So I guess I need to... Oh, standing on this. Aha! turned that on. I didn't even realize. Okay, so we have a cube now. So then I can use that to get through this Again, door. It Hopefully it's, it's broken. All right, so since that door is bust, what if we shove this on on there? Boosh. Then I can jump through like this portal. So I'm now locked in this room. Yeah, that, that helped. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can get up there now. So if we go back into here, we should be up on that balcony. Decent. Okay, so I can shoot one over there. I mean, I could maybe just drop down. Okay, I'm dropping down. Ow! Oh, survived. Okay, so now I can get back to that portal, which means as we walk through, we're, we're up here. Anyway, where the hell are we? I think this is the entrance. Test chamber 12. Oh, look, we got, an, we got an orange portal finally. Okay, so if I shove that up there, I can then like drop stuff through it and then it went somewhere. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go through with the companion cube because I imagine this is going to be more valuable than like just a standard cube. So let's just go huh, jump through. So we'll leave that on the button. Then I just shoot up there so I can, I guess, jump 
down. Oh my goodness. Wee. And then out. <laughs> Fly into the bushes. But then we're up in the top. We made it through. Right. Well, anyway, I could play this for hours and hours. So I guess we'll leave it there for now. If you want to see another video on this, I definitely want to carry on. Or maybe I'll just do it like in a stream or something. Uh, either way, let me know in the comments. And then that's what we'll do. Or if you don't want to see it again, just say that as well. Now, ironically, before we go, I will say I have just I've just found a bug where like my portal gun has disappeared. I can still shoot portals, but you can't see my gun anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> That's another reason why we're stopping as well. But remember, it was a free mod, so you can't complain too much. Anyway, for now, we will say peace, love, and Portal 3. Bye, guys.